Good morning. Happy Monday. It's the start of a new week. Having my delicious breakfast smoothie. I love this thing. Um, it's chocolate. Well, it's cocoa powder with peanut butter, and bananas, and almond milk, and it gives me life. Whew. Having a good hair day today. It is curly. Today is Monday, April. Today's May 1st. Happy May. It is May. I need to change this. Put my fashion illustration calendar in there for May. Um, it's May 1st. Those are available on my website if you want them. I know most people don't buy a digital calendar almost halfway through the year. But if you do, you can grab it. Um, so this is this is the game plan for today. Today, I really want to focus on floral paintings and different compositions. Um, I have a few going on here that are in the works. One of them I don't like, so I'll just show you the one I do like. Heck, I will show you the one I don't like, too. Not sure about that flower right there. It kind of threw me off, and I've been trying to fix the painting ever since, and I think I just need to start over again. But yeah, I want to lay out all my paintings, check them out, and see what I want to do for my print collection. I've been wanting to do a print collection for a while. I've only done one. Um... And sometimes, you know, I go back and forth between being like, hey, I should, you know, thinking I'm going to make a print collection and focusing on that as I make each piece thinking this is for the collection. It kind of puts too much pressure on me and I tend to feel like I'm put in a box. So I'm trying the route of just making a bunch of work and then seeing if there's pieces I want to become prints because I, I really do want it to be a collection. I want it to go together, whether it's similar colors or flowers. Um, yeah, and it could just be random flowers. I really don't know how it's going to turn out, but that's part of the fun of the process. But I'm going to lay them out today, see what I have and kind of just do some floral studies. I wrote myself some notes. I have a commission I need to work on. Um, but it is not due till later. Um, and then I think that's all on my list for today. But I wanted to show you, I got some new art supplies over the weekend. I want to show you just a few things. But the thing I'm most excited for is my washi tape. Got all of these rolls off of Amazon. And you know I love flowers, so here they are. Here they are. Got all the flowers. That'll be fun. I mean, I know you peel it off and throw it away when you're done painting, but I'm excited. And, you know, I've been using other rolls for a while and it keeps ripping off my paper. So I'm excited to finally not have that happen. That'll be nice. Got my little Windsor Newton Hooker's Green. I've wanted to try this green forever. I just went with the Cotman ones. I use professional, but I'm like, what if I don't like it? And honestly, what stopped me from getting the professional was I could not find an employee at the store to unlock the case. So I just bought this one. And then last but not least, oh, with the drawing, got some more of my Canson watercolor paper. I tried it you know, stock up on my stack to use for commissions. And I might make some paintings on there once I figure it out in my sketchbook. Um, might make some there just to use to do my prints. And I'm making my prints myself again. And I found some good paper that I'm going to use. And I'm just gonna print them out. See, my mistake I made the first time I tried a watercolor collection was I, you know how watercolor paper is, it has that texture. I really wanted the prints to be printed on that. I wanted it to look like that. But 
you know, printers don't really print watercolor paper well, and it does not turn out the same. And I just wasted so much paper. Um, the colors weren't turning out right. I was really struggling. So I'm just going to go with the other paper this time and make a print what a print is, which is not an original. It's slightly different. Um, but I think that's going to work a lot better for me. So I'm going to start painting and we'll see how it goes. We'll talk, we'll talk later. Hello, it is voice over me, and this is how I usually gain my inspiration for my next project, which is what I'm doing now. I like to go on Pinterest and like to type in different floral arrangements to kind of give me some help as to how to really make my composition. So yeah, I, re I really like doing that, and I wanted to do a lot of roses. I have some roses that I have been painting and that's really what I did and I just feel like this collection needs to be a rose collection so I'll just like go through here for a while and scroll through and just find whatever speaks to me and I save it in my little special folder that just gives me my little reference photo folder and then I can just go back to it when I need it and I really like to sketch from a reference photo I have found that it really helps me just understand what I want my composition to be I feel like when I don't draw from a reference photo the only time I usually don't do that is if I've just been looking at something or been out in nature and have this image stuck in my head because I get so in the habit of drawing since I draw every day that there's often times I just open my sketchbook and I just start drawing without even thinking and so I tend to do that sometimes if I don't have my reference photo when I'm trying to make a piece so I've been trying to get more into the habit especially this week of just pulling out my reference photo, going to my sketchbook first, like I am right here, and mapping out different ideas, quickly, loosely doing them in watercolor, and seeing which one I actually want to do. Because, again, <laughs> in the past, I have just gone and started a painting, and then partway through I realize I actually don't want to do it anymore. And that has happened to me more times than not. And then I just feel like I'm wasting paper. I'm wasting an idea. It could have easily been something that was a sketchbook idea that, idea that just didn't work. <laughs> I'm a little sleepy today. I did a few thumbnails of potential potential collection things um and you know what I realized so my first collection was called the bloom collection my first floral collection and it was just peonies and I'm like why did I use that as the name why because all flowers <laughs> bloom <laughs> and now I'm like what do I name this collection and I know I don't need to figure out that Part yet but it just crossed my mind I made about five thumbnails here I'll show you them so I have five little thumbnails I decided to make a giant rose just because but clearly I I just enjoy doing pencil first before I put my watercolor in because it gives me a road map I also was like hey perfect time to try my Cotman not Cotman hookers green and there it is. It's it more opaque and then I lightened it and I mixed it with the burnt umber and I really like that color. And so I tried to incorporate that a little bit and I'll probably use that when I make the bigger paintings, but I want a variety, you know, I don't just want like one kind and I'm gonna make it a print. It's, that's why I'm so focused on this like collection because I just want it to all tie together. 
Um, so I have some starting points and I'm going to pick one of these and start it as a painting and try out my new washi tape. But I really want to make sure this washi tape works. So I'm first going to try it out here and see how it goes. Do you ever just do a task that you've been pushing off for forever and you realize, huh, that was not that bad. Why did I wait so long to do this? That is me with these pieces. I've had this on my planner for forever. I'm like, I need to go through them and see what my actual theme is so I can keep making things. And so I did it and it really helped me go in the direction I wanted to go for continuing to make art and seeing which ones would work out for prints not trying to put any pressure on myself and here I'm just organizing them into piles so I have this blue purple theme going on in the middle I have some with a more magenta on the left and then I have like oranges and pinks on the right with a cool little technique I tried there on that bottom right with a filbert brush that was a really fun way to do petals. I really enjoyed making those and I liked making it so like two colors were blended together. Kind of how I've seen acrylic artists um, do with acrylic paint. And I realized that I already had little patterns going on and so I just decided to go in the direction of like keeping certain colors together. Um, and kind of focusing on roses, but as you're going to see, I actually decided to use some other flowers as well. I got started on one of the thumbnails, the one of the roses in the jar, on a bigger piece. Then I ended up trimming it down. Apologies for the lawnmower. It's Saturday, prime time for lawn mowing season. And my window's open and I can't shut it. So, yeah, I like to get my sketch down first. I always feel better when I do that because everything is not proportionate if I don't do that first. And I watched YouTube videos while painting this and it was a really relaxing day. And I was really happy once I made this because I felt I had a little dull season, you know, of trying to paint things. But if you are a woman watching this, which I think primarily that is my audience highly recommend um if you are an artist like painting according to your cycle uh because when i'm on my period i honestly do not feel like creating and that's totally normal and i think we can get down on ourselves um when our creative zone is actually we're more creative during different phases of the cycle so like there's also a time where planning is better too. If you look into it, you will understand what I'm talking about. But this is the most satisfying part, peeling off the tape. And especially when it doesn't peel off my paper. So, shout out to this Amazon washi tape. Really, really serving me well during this time of my painting life. And I ended up trimming this down, which you're not going to see in this video because I... I didn't record myself trimming it. I also added a little shadow on the left. Felt like the jar and the flower on the bottom needed a shadow. Good morning, it's Tuesday, 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 um, <laughs> whoa, don't know what's going on there, but as you've seen, I've been painting some flowers, and I will show you it, I can't hold it up because it's taped to my desk, and I feel like it's not done, but it's a little bit different um, than yesterday's, obviously, because it's a different piece. But I feel like I want to add this one to the collection, the print collection, too. Um, yeah, it's a gloomy day here in Ohio. It's rainy. It said it might snow. But it's only going to get better from here. 
the week is progressing. The weather is getting warmer. Let's show you this. There it is. So far, I like it. Here's my little scrap paper. And that's what we have right now. The way I combat the gloom is I paint flowers. That's how I do it. I combat the gloom with flower painting. Um, and so yeah, that's what happened today, um, this morning. And I'm just gonna keep painting.